Welcome back to art classes. So I'm Dee and today we are going to be doing our final Facebook Live art class. With schools going back next week, or the rest of the grades, then I will be back to my normal art classes and you guys will be very busy at school again. So thank you so much for joining me over the past couple of months. I've had lots of fun and I hope you have too. So today what we're going to do is we are going to be making some animals out of magazines. And we're going to be doing lots of gluing, lots of rolling, um, and then creating an animal by gluing bits of rolled up magazine pages together. So what we're going to need is we're going to need an old magazine that you can tear pages out of and you are going to need scissors and a glue stick and you are going to need maybe an old piece of newspaper that you can do gluing on and also some items like round items that you might want to roll your magazine strips around to create our shapes. Um, now, if you don't have an old magazine, which I was able to find one, we don't normally have many lying around, you can also use pages of a newspaper, you can use catalogues that you might sometimes get in the mailbox, you can use an old telephone book, you can use any old paper, even recycled printer paper as well. So, what we are going to do is we're going to tear a page out of your magazine. You may need help with that or you may want to use your scissors. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to fold our page in half. So the way I like to do it is I like to match my edges together in the middle, making sure that my corners join up together. And then I put my fingers in the middle, slide down, hold it, and then slide out either side along the fold. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear along this line, but you might find it easier to use your scissors. If you do a nice sharp fold, it makes it easier for tearing, but then it also makes it easier to see a line in which you can cut along as well. So I'm going to tear, and then we're going to do another fold. See I'm folding out from the middle. I'm going to tear along this line as well. You notice also that I'm doing long strips. So I'm going down the full length of the page. I'm not doing shorter strips going across the page. I want as long strips as possible. So we'll do this one as well. Sliding out and then tearing carefully along here. Oops. So tearing. Okay, so now we have four strips of paper. So what we are going to do next is I am going to fold each of these in half. What I might do is I might just show you that one folded in half. This one we're going to fold in half. So that's step one. And this is step two. So same as that one, folding it in half, opening it up, and then you'll have a nice line along the middle there. See how you can see that fold line? Especially if you make it a nice sharp fold by pushing down firm. So where that line is, I'm going to take the edges of my strip into that line and I'm going to make another fold. We need to do that both sides. So turn it around, do it this side as well. So taking the edge into that fold line, okay? So that's what it should look like then. So step one. Step two, 
Do the same with this one. So that's not how you leave them. I'm just showing you the, the steps that you need to take. So folding it into the middle, opening it up, folding this slot into the middle, turn it around, fold this edge into the middle. Okay, so this looks like step two. I'm going to take it one step further. Now, when I was doing this, it reminded me of the way I make paper aeroplanes. So if you're good at making paper aeroplanes, you'll be pretty good at doing this too. So folding it in, turning it around, folding this edge into that same center crease. Okay, and that is what we will end up with. Okay, you can see the folds there. So next step, I am going to use this paper so I don't make too much of a mess. I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm going to glue right along the top edges there. And then I am going to, oops, just move that out of the wet glue, I'm going to fold it over. It's a little bit messy this stage, but that's okay. And then we end up with a long strip, okay? And it's got a nice thickness to it as well. So a long strip. Now what I do then is I normally let that dry for a little bit. So I do that with, I don't know, how many will I need? Might need about 12 or 14. Let's see if I've got a dried one under here. Nope, I haven't. So I might just run through it again while I let that one dry a little bit. Might put it under the board too so it can dry flat. Makes it easier for the next stage. Okay, so I'll run through it again. So we've got our strip of paper, fold it in half, nice sharp fold, open it up, fold this edge into the center. And I'll show you after this bit so that you can see that this edge is right where the center fold is. So turn it around, do the same with the other side. Okay, so that's two. And now we'll just fold this edge into the center as well. This might even be something that adults might enjoy too, I reckon. Possibilities are endless with what you can do with these once you've made a few. Okay, so there. Now we'll add some glue. Okay, fold it over so that we've got a narrow. Narrow strip. There we go, nice and thick. So we'll pop that one underneath as well and I'll take out the one I prepared earlier. Here we go. So here it is. Now what we're going to do with it now is I'm going to make a circle. So I'm gonna take a pencil, I'm gonna lay it over the top there. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue just here, don't need to add it to the whole length. And we don't need to add it up to the edge because otherwise you'll end up with it sticking to your pencil. Now we're gonna hold the edge onto the pencil, hold it there while we roll it over. And then we're gonna keep rolling, rolling. You're gonna see if you can match up the rolled edge right along, right along, keep rolling. It is easier if um, the glue has dried properly with this one. That way it doesn't move around too much. But we will be fine. Keep rolling, rolling all the way to the end. Rolling, rolling. So we only rolled that, um, glue that first bit, and then we're gonna put some glue on this very end. So that's just going to help to stop it from unwinding. 
So then we'd end up with like a spring or a big swirl. Not quite what we're after today. Okay, so you can see that it's kind of stuck to my pencil anyway. Let's see if we can get it out. Must have been the glue on my fingers. Okay, there we go. Probably because I rolled it too tight. Okay, a bit of glue on the end and then pushing it down. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold it there. What I did earlier was I was making this shape and I was rolling these around this marker. And what I was able to do when I rolled these ones was I was able to use an old peg and then put it inside one edge and then the other edge outside. And that way it was able to hold it for you while it dried. But it actually doesn't take that long to dry. So we'll just hold this bit with my fingers. So when I was doing these, you can actually see that you can see some color on the edge here. So when you are choosing your paper, you can actually decide, oh, what have we got here? See this one? It's a bit plainer on the inside. If you flip it over, it's a bit more colorful. So I chose to do all of my folding inwards so that it hid the, the less colorful side. And that way, when it's all folded up, you're more likely to see a bit of color, just like you can with this one. Not a lot, but a little bit. So I think that's probably fairly well dry. Okay, so you can see a little rolled up piece of magazine. So then what we're going to do is the possibilities are endless once you've got these and you can roll them around even something as large as a glue stick as well. Let's have a go with that. Makes it a little bit more challenging to glue but we'll just wrap it around without gluing so that you can see okay slide that one off let's hope I'm not too tight again okay there we go so that's a, a looser circle but you could do like a, a chain sort of type design where you have them all connected. And what you would do is you could either glue them together like that, or you can sit glue them and then you could also wrap a piece of masking tape in there, very thin, or a thin piece of magazine paper, again, using glue. Lots of possibilities. But what I thought we would do today is I've got a piece of cardboard here. I don't know if I'll glue them onto it, but it'll make a nice background anyway. Now, I've got a larger one that I made earlier. This one started off rolled around the marker. So I made one this size, this size. And then I took another strip and I wrapped it around with glue. Then I took another strip, wrapped it around the outside of it held it in place with glue and then another one. So I think this one was four strips. So I thought I would make that my animal's body. And then this one I'm pretty sure has three strips that I use. So I thought that could be my animal's head. Let's see, I might see if I can glue them together. Next one, maybe I might glue it onto the background. Now this glue is pretty handy, given that it's blue. You can actually see where you have glued things. And you don't need to worry about it always remaining blue because it actually dries clear, which is really good. So there is my animal's body and head and I'm going to take some of my medium-sized ones 
and they can be my animal's legs. Okay, there you go, my animal's legs. And I'm going to take these two. I might put this glue on here actually. It's getting a little bit tricky to get it next to. there just to help it stick to the body okay there is my animal's arms there you go and two more that I made earlier these were the ones that I did around the pencil oh, I'm making a bit of a mess with this glue stick I shall clean it up later one there, and then this one we put here. Mm, there we go. I'm hoping that it's starting to look like a bear. One more, I think, for the bear's nose. Let's do a middle one in the middle there. See if it stays in place when I hold it up. Yay, it does. So there you go. You can see it on the side. Okay, and there's my bear. So I chose to glue it onto the background. You don't have to if you don't want to. You can just glue them to each other. Leave them on a flat board so they can dry. And then you have a little bear. You could do whatever you wish with it. Now something else that I have seen with these is you can actually glue them together. You could make like, glue them onto a picture frame. You could uh, add more to the base and then start having some that go vertically, so up and create like a little container. Uh, you could do so many things with these. It's lots of fun, and if you use catalogues, old magazines, old newspapers, you are never going to run out of materials. So it's a very easy one to do with lots of possibilities. So only a short one to show you guys today, but I thought it does take a, quite a while to actually create these strips and to roll them up and let them dry. So I thought that I would prepare all of that and just show you just run through it once or twice with you and that way it leaves you guys lots of time to create your own. So have fun guys and once again thank you so much for joining me over the last couple of months. I've had so much fun with you guys. Love seeing your work so if you happen to do one of these today I'd love to see it if you post it in the comments or message me privately if you'd prefer. And I hope you all enjoy going back to school again. I'm sure you will absolutely love it. So bye. See you again sometime.